In this video, we are going to keep talking about the Linux file system, and we are going to go deeper, in, specifically into um, the the file tree. Okay, so what are we going to try to learn? We are going to learn about the file tree, and specifically, we are going to learn about special directories. Okay, so the Linux file tree. As I showed you before, uh, the Linux file tree always looks something like this, but specifically has one feature, which is that there's always one uh, root folder, root directory, okay? Um, some important things, only one, always, and always only one, okay? There's going to be always a root, a root directory, which is slash, and there's going to be only one, okay? From there, everything branches, okay? I talked about it before, but it's important that you, that you know it, okay? So we are going to, to look at the special directories in the Linux file tree because they are always the same, or maybe there, there are more, or there are some less, but there's always, there, there, there's going to be always special directories and usually the, the ones that I'm going to show you, okay? So we are going to go with each of them. There are many, as you can see, uh, but you need to, to know what each of them do and why you should touch them or not, okay? So let's start from the beginning. Uh, slash bin uh, is the folder for containing programs, uh, the system programs, system administrator and the users. Basically, the, usually it's the programs that are in that are being executed, uh, but also maybe not. Okay, so uh, a, a, a folder, a directory for programs. Slash boot uh, contains the startup files and the kernel um, uh, and the group. Uh, maybe we'll talk about the group uh, later on, but basically. <coughs> Uh, the startup files and the kernel, okay? Never touch it, because if you touch it, you will break the, the operating system, okay? Uh, slash dev uh, contains uh, references to the hardware, basically, uh, like, for instance, I don't know, files that store information about the hard disk, about the peripherals that are connected, like the USB and stuff like that, okay? Uh, slash etc is the folder where configuration files are, are stored. Uh, there are many, many, many files in there. Um, they configure from the operating system stuff, like, uh, I don't know, the display configuration, um, power configuration, power management configuration from uh, programs configuration files also. So uh you, you you will probably touch it but take good care when you touch the files in there because they are pretty dangerous to touch if you break them maybe something in the operating system or in the programs will break okay so take care uh slash home is the folder for the for the for the users okay um basically uh, for, for the common users, not the special ones like uh, root or administrators or something like this. Uh, init RD is a folder that sometimes is not present in some distributions, but it also contains about information about booting. Uh, it's getting, it's slowly disappearing because uh, everything tries to be in slash boot in usual distributions and modern distributions, but maybe you 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 find it, okay? But you shouldn't touch it, okay? If exactly as in the slash boot folder, okay? Slash boot directory. Uh, slash lib is the library's uh, uh, directory where every library uh, from the kernel libraries the program libraries, everything that is a library is going to be there. So also don't touch it if you don't know what you're doing. Last and found is a part, uh, is a is a directory that uh, is present in almost every partition. 
and it's the <coughs> it's the di directory where um, folder uh, files that were broken uh, or ha some failure happened or some error happened uh, are going to be saved there and maybe you can use them or not okay and it's also a temporary uh, a temporary di directory so if you want to recover something think that maybe it's it's going to be deleted in, at some time okay slash misc miscellaneous everything can be there okay um, everything for real okay so slash m and t m and t uh, or slash mount uh, is the standard mount point for external file systems like the like, like the USB I showed in another video uh, basically there you should mount everything that it's an external uh, an external file system like you connect a, a hard disk through USB or to SATA and you should mount it in slash mount okay <coughs> There are people that says that you have to mount it in slash mount slash media, but well, at least in slash mount, okay? Um, slash net is the standard mount point for entire remote file system. When you have a shared folder or uh, a shared full hard disk uh, over the network, you have to mount it in slash net, okay? This is extremely common in Linux, especially in servers because maybe your storage is not connected directly through the hardware, it's going to be in the network, so you have to mount it in slash net, okay? Uh, slash opt or slash optional uh, is for extra and third party software, optional software like drivers or stuff like that. Slash proc is a virtual file system, it's not a real file system, okay, that contains uh, information about the system resources okay uh, you can execute man proc in the in the command line we will talk about it later and you will see more information but basically contains information about the system resources uh, uh, like the hard disk uh, available storage uh, the processor usage so so many things okay uh, slash root is the root uh, user fold home home directory uh, it's it's sometimes super confusing because slash without anything is the root directory and slash root is the root user home directory okay but think think that it's it's a user uh, a user directory okay a uh, special user directory because it's the is the root one but okay uh, slash has been uh, basically uh, programs to be used by the system and the and the system administrator only for them okay slash temp temporary space uh, can be deleted uh, uh, can and will be deleted on reboot on reboot or or sometimes there are processes that clean up the storage available on to, to have more, spe more more storage available so probably the temp folder are, is going to be deleted uh, slash user um, programs library documentation anything that is about user programs okay uh, in SVN in SVN you have the programs to about uh, for the system and system administrators in slash user you have the user programs okay and slash bar, okay, is the storage for variable and temporary files created by the users. Log files, um, print queues, uh, whatever. Like temporary files when you're downloading something with the browser, those temporary files that are created are going to be in slash bar and afterwards they will be written in, in, the, in the final directory. So everything like that will be in slash bar, okay? There may be more special directories in Linux, but those are the most common ones and the, well, the, 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 the ones that you are going to find in every distribution, okay? I think these are the ones that are present in, the, in a Red Hat distribution. Uh, maybe Linux Mate, there are 
some different ones, but you are going to find this everywhere. And the usage of them is going to be the same in every distribution. So you need to know about them so you can work uh, well with Linux. And especially when you have to make uh, Linux administration, you need to know them. Okay. So recapitulating, uh, we talked about the, li the Linux file tree deeper and we learned about special directories. What are they? What are they for? And why are they important as always? Okay.